Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 013 underscore DIABM where you save it. Or you can also download this file on the website. If you don't have access on this exercise file, sit down and watch the video. Go to the quick access tool and click the save as button. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. If you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD, change the file of type from AutoCAD 2018 to that version. Click this down arrow. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007. Rename this file to 00 underscore 023 underscore DIABM and click the save button. Because I have a file in already with the same name, AutoCAD ask if I want to replace this file. If you don't have a file with the same name, you don't see this dialog box. I'm going to click yes to replace that file. If you go to the view control and click the top custom model view, you see we have four custom view in this drawing. We have the first floor plan, which is this view. Some of the objects in the first floor plan are gone because we grade them after we set the view. If I click this down arrow again and select the ground floor plan, you see AutoCAD bring the ground floor plan. If I click and select the ground floor and first floor plan, AutoCAD bring both of them. If I click again and select the roof plan, AutoCAD bring the roof plan. Now in roof plan view, go to the home tab layer panel and click the third layer button. This will bring any layer that being faced because of that layer was not in the drawing when the view is created. Now use a window selection to select all the objects in this drawing and hit delete on your keyboard. Now go to the view control, click and select the first floor plan. Go to the home tab, layer panel and click the third layer button. Now use a window selection to select all the objects in this drawing. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the copy command. At specified base point prompt, zoom in into this area and avoid the mouse cursor to the circumference of the circle. When you do, you see a center object snap at the center of the circle. Click at the specifying second point or array prompt. Move the mouse cursor to where the roof plan was and use the center object snap. Copy this object. Press escape. Now we're going to create a roof for this building. The roof is very complex. As you can see, the magenta line shows that the ground floor plan below and this is the first floor plan. You have a roof here at the ground floor plan and this veranda and this area. Then you have another roof in the first floor plan in this area. So to do this we need to grid the roof layer and series of temporal layer so that we grid the roof by sections. When we finish we link up all the sections of the roof together and grid a one roof. Whatever complex roof you have in AutoCAD, you can construct that roof by dividing the drawing into manageable portion. That way, you will no more complain that the building is complex to design a roof for you. First, go to the Home tab, Layer Panel and click the Layer Properties. Highlight the row of layer 0. This way, if you click the New button, the new layer inherits the properties of the highlighted layer. Now, click New. As you can see, the new layer, named layer 1, is inherited the properties of layer 0. Also, the layer 1 is highlighted. Now, go ahead and type roof on your keyboard. Press the tab key. Click the color switches and change its color to the index color 98. Click OK. Highlight the layer 0 again and click the new layer button. Rename this layer to R1. Press the tab key. Click new layer again. R2. You can delete this layer after you construct your roof. But at the moment, let's set them. Let's go and set up to R6. Press the tab key. Go to the R1 and click the color switches. This will bring the select color dialog box. Select the index color number 1 and click OK. Go to R2 and set the index color 2. Click OK. R3. Save the index color to 
the index column number three, click OK, click the R4, set the R4 to the index column number four, click OK, click R5, set the index column for R5, number five, R6, select the index column number six, and click OK. Close the layer properties manager. Now, let's start from R1. Zooming into this area, go to the Home tab, Layer Panel, and click the down arrow. Select the R1 layer to make it the current layer. Now, go to the Home tab, Draw Panel, click this down arrow, and cl cl click the Push Pin. This way, the panel will stay open. Select the Construction Line. At the place, you find a point prompt. Type H for the horizontal option and press Enter. Move into this area and snap to this line. We snap the wrong point, but we delete this line after we place the line. Snap to this point. Move the mouse cursor and snap to this area. Move the mouse cursor and snap to this area. Press escape to get out of the command. Now zoom into this area, select this line and hit delete on your keyboard if you snap at the wrong position. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the construction line command again. Go to the status bar and click the VAR option or type V on your keyboard and press enter. Snap to this point and snap to this point. Press escape to get out of the construction line command. Click the push pin to restore the draw panel. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. I specify offset distance point. Type 750 millimeter, press enter. Select this line and offset it up. This offset it to the left, this to the right, this line offset it down, this line offset it down. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the polyline command. I specify a starting point from start at this intersection. Move the mouse cursor and snap to this line. Move down and snap to this line. Move the mouse cursor and snap to this line. Type C on your keyboard and to close the figure. Now select this line, this line, hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the specified offset distance from size 750 on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Select this line and offset it to the right. Press escape. Select this polyline. Hover the mouse cursor into this grid and select add vertex. Move the mouse cursor in the same location and click one segment of the polyline into this line. Hover the mouse cursor into this grid, add vertex, move into the same grid and click. AutoCAD add another grid into this portion. Now select this line, move the mouse, click on the grip and move to the right. Now click on this grip and move and snap it to the intersection of this line. Click on this grip and Upper the mouse cursor into the end point of this line. Now move down and snap to the perpendicular of this line. Click on this grip and snap to the perpendicular of this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now select this line, this line, and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, drop panel, and select the line command. At specify first object prompt, use the midpoint object snap and snap from this point. Move the mouse cursor and click approximately around this area. Press escape to get out of the command. Press enter to start the line command again. At the specifying first point from zoom in at this corner and use the endpoint of the snap. Snap. Go to the status bar. Click this arrow and make sure that the 45 degree angle movement is checked and click the polar tracking button to turn it on. Move the mouse cursor into this area and make sure that you snap to 45 degree angle increment. Click. Press enter to end the line command. Press enter to start the line command again. At the specifying first point prompt, click on this area. Use a 45 degree snap angle. Snap. Click on this area. Press enter to end the line command. Press enter to start the line command again. Start from this point and move into this into 45 degree angle click to place the line press escape now go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command 
at the select object prompt select this line and this line select these two line this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the mirror command as specify first point of mirror line prompt use the midpoint object now snap to the midpoint of this line move the mouse cursor you can turn on your auto mode and snap on the top of the screen press enter to end the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command fillet this line to this line go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command zoom in into this area draw a line from the end point of this line to the end point of this line press enter to end the line command go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command move the mouse cursor and snap to this corner and go to the status bar and turn off the polar tracking make sure that your line move at the 45 degree angle incremental angle the 45 degree incremental angle doesn't mean that you always see 45 degree in the angle input for example when you set the polar tracking in the 45 degree increment angle you have zero degree 45 degree 90 degree 135 degree 180 degree and so on now move the mouse cursor and click on this endpoint press escape all right now the first roof is complete we'll stop this tutorial here in the next tutorial we'll continue to we'll continue our roof with another segment so if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye